this is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Our celebrant is Father John Sheridan, pastor of St. Peter Church in Canton and rector of the Basilica of St. John the Baptist in Canton. I am John Donches from St. Christine Church in Youngstown. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Helen Kuzman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, my fault, through my, my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing I shall shepherd. want. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing I shall, shall want. want. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ, then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be, to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will say and answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you. Whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for you, for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we celebrate the, the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, perhaps when we hear the word king, what comes to our mind is some perhaps image of a middle-aged king aloof and sitting high in his ivory tower or large medieval castle and ruling with, with strength from a distance. And yet in our gospel and in our first reading today, we hear about God using the image of a shepherd to speak to us about his authority as king. A shepherd is not someone who is far away from the flock. 
A shepherd is not someone who doesn't want to be near his people, who is aloof or separated from the needs of his flock. Instead, a shepherd is someone who is close to the sheep, who knows them by name, who cares for them personally and intimately, and who spends his life ministering to them in every way. This image of shepherd as king is important when we try to understand how Jesus is our king. Because Jesus, even though he is in heaven, is not far from us. He is not separated from our cares and our concerns and our needs. Instead, he is very close to us. And like a shepherd, he cares for us and intimately knows us by name. He comforts us in our sorrows and he celebrates with us in our joys. The Lord is king, and that means that he is close to us and that he wants to be with us and he wants to welcome us into his embrace. And so that embrace is something we can experience if we behave as the Lord instructs us in the gospel. If we, like the sheep who are close to the shepherd, are separated from the goats, that means that we are doing the work that the shepherd has given us, to feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, to welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, care for the ill, visit the imprisoned. These corporal works of mercy help us to be like the Lord. For if we do them, we are ministering as Christ does to his own people. But he also tells us that if we do these things, we are ministering to Christ in our brothers and sisters. And so when we behave as the Lord instructs us, we are not ministering to other people. It is the Lord in us ministering to the Lord in others. The Christ in us welcomes and greets the Christ in our neighbor. And what a comforting thought that is, that the Lord who is in me and with me is also in you and with you. And when I tend to your needs, or when you tend to mine, we are with the Lord, and he is acting and working among us. And so on this Christ the King Sunday, we lift our thoughts and our hearts to the Lord who is not separated from us, but who is very close indeed. And we ask him to strengthen us to do the work that he has given us, so that we might always be close to him. Together we profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the Father Almighty, maker, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence that the Lord cares for us and knows our many needs, let us offer our prayerful petitions for people most in need today. For the Holy Church of God, shepherded by Pope Francis and all the bishops in the name of the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That leaders of nations look first to caring for the needs of the most vulnerable of their people, 
treating them with mercy, compassion, and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are oppressed by unjust rulers, for all whose well-being is disregarded by those in power, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the hungry, thirsty, and strangers in our midst, for those who cannot afford to clothe themselves or pay for the proper medications, for those who find themselves in prison, may they be comforted and healed by our merciful actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are seeking the Lord, may they find the face of the one true King reflected in the actions of our community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. God of mercy, King of the universe, hear the prayers we place at your altar this day, and in your great love respond to our many needs, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat eat this this bread and and drink drink this cup, we we proclaim proclaim your your death, O Lord, until until you come come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who who art in in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass against us. And and lead lead us not not into temptation, but but deliver deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, power, and and the glory glory are yours, now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The 
the body of Christ. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.